What is now time to get a look at the latest when it comes to weather with Market Journal weather analyst Bill Boyer. Well, Bill, I understand the next week or so might feel more like spring for most all of our coverage area, right? Well, Bryce, uh, that's certainly correct. We are expecting there to be a resurgence of some scattered late day showers and storms here across the high plains. Uh, but we need it. This is the time of year when we've got to pick up some moisture. We still have uh, exceptional drought conditions in portions of northeast uh, Nebraska up into uh, the far northeastern corner and the far southwestern tip there or western tip of Iowa. Surrounding that, this red area has extreme drought conditions from north central down into southwest Nebraska and a portion of the panhandle. Uh, we are seeing some improvement, and this is, again, the time of the year that we've got to see some of that improvement. Take a, take a look at this line of showers and storms with this whole system pushing away from us. You can actually see the spin uh, to the east of us, but notice what's going on to the west of us. A whole lot of nothing out here, and that area is going to continue to remain dry uh, through the weekend and into early portions of next week. Now, we are going to see off and on some daily chances of isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms. That's what we're looking at this time of year, daily chances of those showers and storms in what's going to be a warmer and more spring-like pattern here across the region. The good news about that is they can pack some heavy rain. The bad news is they don't treat everybody fairly. Some of you will get more rain than others, and others will uh, miss out. But as you notice, through the week and into the end of the week, we still see those daily chances of isolated to scattered showers and storms. Again, hopefully, when you take them all together through the plurality of the week, everybody can get a little bit. We're looking at uh, temperatures that are going to start on Saturday uh, today, but getting up into the 60s and 70s. We continue the 60s and 70s on Sunday. Then we start a warm-up uh, Monday, and especially by Tuesday. Look what happens. The warm air returns to the high plains. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're looking at temperatures well into the 80s. Some 90s are possible out there as well. So it is definitely going to take a moment and feel a little more like spring. What are we looking at for precip? Again, it's going to be hit or miss. This is a broad brush painted uh, area, maybe a, a quarter uh, to a half an inch of some moisture. Again, if you can get under some of those heavier thunderstorms, certainly an inch or more not out of the question but those are going to be uh, the exception to the rule and not the rule here as we go across the uh, high plains for the next week or so. How about beyond the next seven uh, days or so? As we take a look out in our 8 to 14 day outlook, boy, a large portion of our region under above normal temperatures, really all of Nebraska in above normal temperatures for the next 8 to 14 days. And what about precip? Well, at least the western half uh, is under a better than normal chance of seeing above normal rainfall. So uh, hopefully that comes to fruition here as we go to the next couple of weeks. But generally speaking, it's going to be much more spring-like out there. We're going to see daily chances of showers and thunderstorms, and uh, hopefully you're able to get some of those. Uh, and it is that time of the year where we have to start keeping an eye on severe weather as we are officially into the first week of May here as the uh, Mother Nature finally seems ready to turn this calendar over to spring, Bryce. So let's hope that continues.